Mm-hmm. Now we see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Shall, shall we start? Yes, please. Yeah, very good afternoon to all of, all of you. Yeah, please. Yeah. Our paper title is Prediction of User Ratings for Drug Side Effects Using Deep Neural Network with the Contextual Co-Occurrence Based Word Embedding Vector. And we are presenting this paper in this uh, Desert 2023 conference. Myself, uh, Dr. Gomati, and uh, our uh, corresponding author is Hariram and uh, Lata B. So these are the contents of our today's presentation, motivation, state of the art, objective of our research, results and discussion, and conclusion as well as future work. Motivation. The reason why we have taken this as our uh, research objective. Recently, we have found that uh, digital informations are publicly available about the uh, information related to the efficacy of any drugs and uh, for what reason and for what cause the patient is taking that particular drug, for what kind of a disease it is being uh, medicated by the doctor and what are the side effects for each of the drug are publicly available as per the guidelines of pharmacovigilance. So based on that, uh, when we uh, gone through the literature study, we found that there is a patient-driven community being maintained for drug side effect. It means the patients are having the very good knowledge about the causes and side effects of the drug. We would like to quote some of the popular websites like druglib.com and drugs.com. These websites are providing the user reviews on dosage level, severity level of the consumers and the patient's body conditions. They have an open review format where the patients can uh, popularly uh, provide their feedback about their side effects on the particular, uh, I mean, um, um, in, 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 I mean, uh, whenever they uh, I mean take a drug, they can provide their side effect, what they suffered by that uh, uh, particular drug. Uh, and uh, this is coming under the subdomain of adverse drug reaction. It means when a drug is being medicated for a patient, based on their level and based on their body immunity and their other chronic diseases, there are, there are certain adverse drug reactions and they may harm for the particular patient. So there, there are a lot of uh, associated uh, alternative medicines are being prescribed by the doctors. So our work is majorly focusing on user rating prediction based on the drug side effect as a text analytics. And when we verified with the literature, what are the previous works are being carried out in this particular similar study, we found that there are five stages of, uh, I mean, five hierarchy of uh, works were being addressed. One, the very, very, very first and conventional was machine learning based approaches. They were used the support vector machine, conditional random field, Bayesian logical regression, as well as naive based classifier and probabilistic neural network for doing this user rating prediction. And also in deep learning approaches, they have uh, tried with recurrent neural network, long short term machine, bidirectional long short term machine, uh, long short term memory, gated recurrent unit, bi bidirectional gated recurrent unit, and variational auto encoder for predicting the user rating. And here the input are the drug side effect reviews as a textual passage. And in the textual passage, uh, we were found that the uh, patients were giving about their uh, um, impact when they were uh, in, in taking that medication, what was their um, uh, symptoms in terms of headache, severity, uh, uh, dizziness, uh, something like that. Whatever that their internal uh, suffering as well as external suffering, they were being written as a uh, user review. That was the input for this particular work. And even over a period of time, they were much concentrated on the language transformer. As it was user defined, there were a variant of data set for the same disease, for the same drug also. Every patient have given different reviews. So they started working on language transformer model called as BERT model, where it is working on the bidirectional relationship between the uh, language uh, in terms of their, um, uh, I mean, uh, words, word, uh, word vocabulary. Here, the text analytics part comes into a major role. They have used the contextual part of those language relationships to build this BERT model. Especially, uh, they, they have been given with vari variant by the researchers, especially BioBERT. They were work on the biomedical data 
corpus as their input for analyzing the drug review. And then it has been promoted to the level of uh, text analytics as it was a categorical data set. They have collected the uh, feedback from the user uh, in terms of the categorical field. And based on that, it has been being associated with the rule mining approaches and disproportionality analysis where the side effects are proportionated uh, in terms of the uh, drug medication. And uh, as it has similarity with respect to the similar diseases uh, and sometimes the same drug may be medicated for more than a disease, they have applied the clustering technique also for doing the analytics of the user side effect. And uh, th there are a few popular model coming in called the auto-generative model where the partial prediction may be given by the user, the remaining user uh, rating will be predicted by the machine. And based on this uh, wide literature study, we have formulated our objectives for this particular research in the name of to design a novel contextual co-occurrence based word embedding vector with a, a deep neural network model in order to uh, rate the user um, um, feedback about the drug side effect. Our algorithm will be having two phases, one on training that network with the help of the available user rated data set, which is a passage, textual passage. And based on the training, our model is capable of predicting the user rating at the scale of 1 to 10 for the unknown, uh, I mean, unknown uh, data sample where there is only side effect passage is there, but there is no user rating. So that is our objective here. So initially, the first phase is contextual representation of the given drug side effect passage. When we uh, analyze the input, the size of our input has gone from minimum uh, 100 to 1300 plus uh, words in a particular uh, input. One single record will have the length of uh, the maximum of 1300 plus words in it. And what we did was as the first phase, those were undergone uh, la, text, text analytics in terms of, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, con converting them into a stemmation, lemmatization, and removal of article. And finally, we have collected only the uh, core word of the particular uh, side effect or sample. And every word is being converted into a contextual representation. That is our first phase, followed by training the network and finally predicting the user rating as the test phase. So, this is the data set what we have followed for our research and this data set we have referred from druglib.com and here they have focused on around 40 plus diseases and for each disease uh, there are number of uh, uh, drug side effect reviews are available and it is purely an imbalanced data set uh, you can see in the right right corner of the particular slide the uh, the scale shows that the number of ratings i mean user reviews available for for a particular disease suppose i take uh, anxiety there are more than 200 plus records are available with the uh, drug side effect review by the user with a rating. And it clearly shows that our uh, text analytics, uh, basic text analytics will not work as it is an imbalanced data set. So that is why we have formulated our research by uh, embedding the contextual knowledge through deep neural network. And uh, in that formulation, we have proposed our methodology. Here, the contextual layer is our original contribution for this particular work. So what we explore here as the contextual layer is based on the content available in the drug side effect passage, we found that there are certain contextual, subcontextual regions available in that passage, a kind of a ontology for the drug side effect. And we had, we had taken 10 prominent factor out of those drug side effect, namely the body part, irritation conditions, severity levels, symptoms, pain, alternative medicine, body act activeness, doctor's emergency call, is it recovered for that particular side effect, and chronic effect as well as toxicity. So out of these 10, the doctor's emergency call was much quoted for the ADHD patients. And for these 10 dominant subcontextual uh, field, we mapped the available text word uh, with the contextual layer. So this is our proposal. So based on the co-occurrence of these uh, words and their relativity with this subcontextual word, we have formulated the context co-occurrence word embedding vector. 
so usually word embedding vector is a very basic concept after being done the pre processing every unique words will be given a vector number but here and they will be embedded into a word embedding vector where the sentence will be converted into a number of a sequence of word unique index number but here we have expanded that with the help of a contextual co occurrence so for every word embedding vector there is a 10 dimensional feature vector and that vector will give the mapping with respect to the corresponding subcontextual uh, label if it is not related the range will be in negative if it is highly correlated the range will be in positive so based on the data distribution sample we were able to identify the correlation coefficients in the range of minus 1 to plus 1 so based on that we were able to bring for every word a co occurrence vector based uh, contextual Uh, representation so this is the original contribution of our work and after that we had gone through that uh, conventional uh, uh, deep neural network model which has uh, uh, one uh, embedding vector layer and a flatten layer and finally the dense layer so the dense layer will be generating the user rating level from 1 to 10 and we have trained our model with 1200 user ratings and we have validated with the 344 user rating and during testing we have used 1054 sample and in the test sample there is no user rating provided uh, as per the data set there were only uh, drug side effects were given as a passage so our model will read that uh, passage as an input and it will automatically generate or predict the user rating so thereby we could able to uh, meet our objective so when we did that experiment with that available data sets and the prescription whatever we have mentioned we were found the results as we have mentioned here and the first two columns are the existing work uh, done by the existing res research on the same data set and the last four columns are our contribution initially we have made uh, the three baseline model which are normally called as a conventional model we haven't make any contribution over the word embedding vector we use the basic word embedding vector and then we implemented over the three language transformer model where the results were not much promising whereas when we changed that into a contextual co occurrence vector embedding by enhancing the conventional word embedding vector layer we were able to find a quite promising improvement in the training as well as the validation accuracy so the training and validation accuracy are having on uh, around a 2.5 percentage gap so we could able to see the generalization error has been much reduced and uh, for to continue further on the overfitting uh, of the model we had conducted the testing phase also we will present uh, uh, for a while so based on that we were able to predict uh, the performance of our model by comparing with existing model Uh, i mean baseline model we would find we have found that our model has a good performance in terms of classification accuracy uh, in the sense that as there was uh, user rating available how far our automated model could produce the same uh, rating that is the performance accuracy and last so how far it was unable to predict the correct rating so that is being portrayed here so the first uh, bar indicate the performance of our proposed model compared with the baseline model so it it has very limited uh, training loss as well as val validation loss compared with the baseline model and we have not stopped at uh, just building the model the pre trained model has been undergone at testing over the 1000 uh, plus uh, record for evaluating the performance of the model on the unknown data sample so here on the pre trained model when we have uh, 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 tried our uh, test sample we could found that it was able to detect uh, the user rating from the scale of 1 to 10 where 1 is there is no side effect very minimum very meager side effect when it is coming at the scale of 6 to 10 the side effect has very uh, sensitive where 10 is most sensitive side effect and this graph had made the analysis uh, to understand the severity of the drug side effect and there are many sample mapped with the rating of 6 to 10 so it is uh, clearly embedded with the passage also when we are had a looking with the passage as well as the rating it was able to uh, predict the rating in a better way so this is our prediction 
for the given user rating so the outcome what we are trying to conclude from this particular uh, test experiment is that whenever a user is uh, uh, providing his uh, feedback about the uh, drug side effect so the pharmacovigilance as well as the pharmaceutical industry could get the knowledge on the severity of the drug side effect for the particular patients so they can do the uh, analysis over the results and they can do reengineering on more, making a uh, better alternative for those drugs so to conclude with uh, we have proposed the uh, context co occurrence weird embedding vector based deep neural network model and which is capable of learning the drug side effect and it can match their effectiveness with respect to the user rating at the rate of 1 to 10 and during the test phase we found that it has it has capable of bringing out the severity as prescribed by the uh, patient which is uh, explored by the model uh, with a good accuracy at the rate of 95 percentage so this is our uh, conclusion of our research and in future how we can uh, enhance our research is as we have chosen only 10 sub label for the contextual layer Uh, it may not be very sufficient uh, for every kind of a diseases and their side effect we we are planning to extend into an ontological network on the basis of the disease on the basis of the part of the body it is creating the side effect we could create the ontological network so that there could be a more refined rating and mapping towards the drug side effect analysis so that for every drug the user can get a heat map as like a body anatomy their side effect can be coded over the body anatomy virtual image so that the user can better visualize the side effect rather than reading through the passage of 1000 plus words so that is our future plan what we have and these are the references we have taken for our work and uh, thank you for uh, giving us time to present our findings much thank you very much colleagues please uh, you are welcome to um, give some questions okay are there some questions please you are welcome um, okay if, if no questions i have one question uh yes sir you said, uh, you said that you have the rating from 1 to 10 yes and uh, is does uh, it, it means that one is a bad drug and uh, 10 is a very, very good drug yes sir yes sir uh -huh. and uh, you considered probably different drugs and what is the distrib distribution uh well, oh, may oh. get the question better what was our what is the distribution of ratings operation is it some normal distribution is it some uh, uh, does it have some maximum at 7 at 8 i don't know you have yeah, tried scale scale is it 10 the 10 you are asking sir um oh, oh, okay uh, what is the most popular rating can you say 7 or 8 uh this is the user rating scale yes uh, that that is one means mild no side effect two means uh -huh. mild very mild like that they have a subjective uh, side effect scaling from 1 to 10 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if it is 6 and that low means they are severe 10 means most severe aha uh -huh. okay yes. thank you very much uh, does somebody have some other question okay i do, I do not see uh, i would like to ask uh, people present uh, at this uh, session to be, to be more active uh okay so please take away your presentation and uh, let us come to the next presentation and, thank you uh, so much yes. thank you for the opportunity thank you and uh, the, the next uh, presentation uh
uh, it will be my presentation. And uh, let me put it to the screen.